Alona Maguire may still be finishing off her fine arts degree at university, but she's already gaining a reputation as a pioneering artist. She was thrust into the limelight with this drone display. And the spirit man moved in the darkness. A first of its kind in Australia. It's surreal, overwhelming at times, but um, I think I really took on the challenge and enjoyed the experience. The 24-year-old is part of a growing number of Indigenous artists breaking into the scene. This exhibition at the Fremantle Arts Centre is dedicated to emerging Aboriginal artists in Western Australia, featuring over 250 works from more than 100 creators. So Revealed is like a really great platform for sort of artists who haven't had major exhibitions in commercial galleries or in other arts institutions. And a sign of just how strong demand is for Indigenous artworks, three quarters of the works in this exhibition sold on opening night. Overseas, interest in works from Australian First Nations artists is high too. Sotheby's in New York recently moved a sale of Indigenous art to its May marquee month with some record-breaking results. And major institutions such as the Tate Modern in London and Singapore's National Gallery are currently holding exhibitions of Indigenous works. I think when you see um, major state-run um, organisations delivering really big exhibitions, then that has a flow-on effect as to the confidence people have in purchasing work. For Ms Maguire, the impact of being given a platform has been huge. It's been, been really exciting just having all, this, all these great opportunities lined up for me after last year. An opportunity plenty more Indigenous artists are lining up for. Jade Barker, ABC News.